as far as I understand, the 1st of May is um, a time of renewal, uh, a time of fertility, a ritual. Um, just, you know, so, some fertility practices, and one I, I'm mentioning is the, the Ashanti, have only started in the last hundred years. I sort of wondered about um, in this in the context we have today of you know May Day, this particular place, this particular time, you in your green tent. Our perception that this place changes with the people that are here. Yeah, and, and with the and things the that are, they bring to this place and that's the, right. their perceptions. And, and with the things that happen here. So the phenomenology of landscape is uh, Christopher Tilly. This is a little bit of serendipity, just because in marking this book um, is uh, this card, a book token, and it's uh, from Auntie Kath. Now, this was given to me probably when I was about 12 or 13. And I know with Martin, she used to bring him up Crouch Hill for a picnic. So what's that there? Can we can we take that back as a find? Okay. That's a wine bottle top, isn't it, I think? Or and a piece of chard. chard. A piece of chard. chard wood. Ancient chard good, good, wood. good question. Is it do you mean good question as to what we can pick up or good question as to how deep you dig? Oh marvellous, marvellous. And and do you think you could give us a date for that? I could. Uh, twenty twelve. One of my first childhood reminiscences was going on a demonstration. It was a day off, lots of people gathered together, walked out into the streets, walked around. It was a very ambiguous one, as in what the first of May is all about. Mm. However, it acquired some political connotations. The point of the first of May being the day of uh, solidarity of proletariat movement comes from the Chicago uprisings, kind of almost artificially planted onto the Russian context. Instead, it quietly became a May Day, a day of peace and labour, doves, flowers growing up. And even as I grew up and went on all these demonstrations, it was all, always waving flowers and balloons. Give people flowers and circles and they'll just march through that route and that'll be that. And I know that today all the Russians are celebrating Easter with all the gatherings that come through. Who's there? Is Igor still there? Or who else? I, I can't remember your name. It is beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's a really lovely spot. In a minute. Oh, hang on. What do you say here? Nizhny Novgorod. Nizhny Novgorod. Yeah. Что вы делаете на на первое мая сегодня? As an Easter food. It's usually all sorts of um, the traditional Easter. Easter. He's oh. going to to play football in Kazan. Is that your is that your team? Zenit Petersburg. Yes. Yeah, we've been walking. Yeah. In, a, in the little tent, okay? And, um, oh, we've got some other people coming. Hi. Tens and yeah. twenties when you just... You get some... I can't wait, you get some... Oh, you want oh. this? Okay, you've got to choose Definitely. what you want to be, yeah? yeah? What, what represents you? Tens Well, officially Monopoly was banned, my professor of architecture would have a Monopoly game from France and would set them play Monopoly. Didn't, didn't they get rid of the iron because they thought it was a sexist? Yeah, the, the way that it's... It was it's... perceived to be a, a capitalist, uh, greedy, grabbing, what's it, game? Okay, we need a stone or a twig. A stone or a twig or something. Or... Oh, wait, I've got one of these. Yeah. Oh, buy me, Fair, then. Hi. Have I got hey, my... We're, we're playing, my... We're playing Monopoly at Farm Crash I'm going to show you yeah. yeah. where we are. What are you... What am I? Suppose. I think that um, oh, four times the amount, no, four times. Sorry, sorry, camera shy. Oh, that's no, rather no, lovely. Uh, these, everybody yeah. has their own rules. Yeah, that's so cute. Let me try and put them in the middle. That's ridiculous. Oh, I don't have any money to start with. Can I buy a Trafalgar Squats? Tesco's finest. No, I'm all right, thank you. Okay. Oh, nice. there's, oh, definitely a, there's definitely a plan to your building. Do I speak French? Well, I, uh, um, peu, I think, is the answer to that. Not very much at all. Oh, the wind, the wind. Oh. Do you play Monopoly? Yeah. Oh, I've got a surprise oh, thing to do in here. Oh, you've got a surprise oh, yeah. thing to do. Oh, is that your surprise? Long. 
Is this not what I, I expected? You, no, not no. at all. You don't know right. what this is. Right. Oh, all right. Okay. I need these, possibly. Yeah. Okay. This is my kit. Color. Right. Okay. Okay. None of them are in flower no, at all. No, I noticed so. that I'd really like to find a may tree with an oak and an ash nearby. So this, I think, is an oak. This is a may. It's a may. That's an eye. elder. Yeah. So, so I'm careful. Actually, I'm not going that way around. No. I'll try and find a better try and way find in. a better way in. Do you think that's an ash? Uh, so that's a that's hawthorn. Lovely. I I need to find a twig. Okay. From from the hawthorn. Yeah. And then the ash and the oak. So okay. That's okay. So I'm not yeah. destroying. You're not destroying a tree. tree. No, no, tree's fine. So and then um, this I think might be. It yeah. was traditionally tied with red thread. And what is it that you're tying? This, this is um, like a talisman. So this is a protective bundle of twigs. And, and where does this come from? But this is from folklore. Right. It's a May Day ritual um, from times of yore. This. I found it on the internet. You found it on the internet? I could wear it around my you could neck. Wear it around I could, yeah. um, just put it in my pocket you could put it and in your take pocket. it home. It might be a bit awkward when you get to the co-op. It would have to be the same May that you got the May from. Well, that would be my own sort of uh, mythology okay. now. Right. So Creating you a, a new folklore. Just a few things associated with the Hawthorne, which was, of course, Marcel Proust's favourite, or at least most written about. Um, plant. Although well, I'm not going to talk about Proust, so though I think we haven't well, talked about it. of the Glastonbury Hawthorn myth, I made it pagan. Thomas the Rhymer met a fairy queen by a thorn bush and lost seven years of life to Demeter and Persephone. Better to dance round the maypole in a stream of rays or bathe in may juice sweet as nectar, hey, yeah. sun once spilt upon death's Hello. ground. Hi. That's it. <laughs> I've just read a poem about Hawthorns, which some of you may have heard. That's great, um, Louise. We'll see you in a minute. Whenever he sees a Hawthorne, it always seems to spark off a particular memory about his childhood, or the, the narrator's childhood. So that's then, would you like to I can't remember. Again? I think it was something to do with the tactility of memory and proof style. The important memories are not only, are not primarily visual, although I've talked about visual memory, so perhaps I'm talking nonsense, but they're actually tactile, physical, um, physical events. Um, not complex ones, it's like the feel of a napkin or the, or the feel of a step. Yeah. Yeah. Does it really? Well, he doesn't about, really, you see, because he's very scathing about memory associated with place. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's, the, that's the difference, really. Proust thinks of uh, the only memories that are worthwhile are memories that come unbidden yeah. in his disappointment. All I saw was a muddy stream. I don't know, it's nothing like, you know, actually going back anywhere, you know. Um, going back anywhere is, is all, almost certainly means that your experience will not be genuine. Yeah. I think it's more grounded more grounded in place and in, in geography and if you like and, and in location yeah. he walks up a step he's not thinking about his past at all he's not he's not looking for memory he's not looking for um, um experience of memory but something about the motion the physicality of it is identical it takes him back to walking up a step in i forget where so just by doing that he's immediately in effect he, he, he's transported across time